This is the Art of Network Engineering podcast. In this podcast, we'll explore tools, technologies, and talented people. We aim to bring you information to expand your skill sets and toolbox and share the stories of fellow network engineers. Welcome back to the Art of Network Engineering podcast. I am AJ Murray at No Blinky Blinky. And tonight we've got Dan. How you doing? Howdy. What's new with Dan? Uh, just working. Busy. What about you? I'm, I'm very impressed with your new threads, Dan. I know people can't see this at home, but Dan is sporting the, the oh, new yeah. Art of Network Engineering Ooh. hoodie, and it looks fabulous. I didn't see that. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Is it comfy? It is comfy, yeah. You look like a million bucks. I've got the t-shirt. Or at least My t-shirt like came in. It, that's comfy. Oh, it's yeah? really comfy. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Mm. I got the hoodie, and nice. it's good, too. It's really nice. light, though. Not like Dan's. It's light. I ordered, I ordered a t-shirt. I'm waiting on it. It's comfy. Nice. Can't wait. Andy, how you doing? I'm good, AJ. I'm excited. I can tell. You did your hair. You did some push-ups. You're ready to go. Brush his teeth, and no, and not necessarily in that order. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he got did some push-ups while he was combing his hair. <laughs> He's a man of many talents. I can see that. <sighs> Last but not least, Aaron. Aaron uh, yeah. What's new with you? Yo, yo. Absolutely nothing. nothing. Uh, kind of excited for this a little bit because we we are the guests, and you've got a surprise yes, for us. Uh. The, th- the three of us, me, Dan, no Nadia, idea what you're going to ask us um, by design. So, uh, yeah, oh, collectively, we're stoked. So Slightly frightened. What, what I did, and it, this is a, a kind of a spinoff of a project that I'm doing with Gerard. You guys know Gerard uh, from the Discord. Him and I are working on yep. this uh, little side project. And I was just like, dude, mm. can I take this to the podcast? He's like, yeah, man, go for it. So here we are. So. We went online and we went into, um, you know, the CCNA subreddit. I think we went into the network subreddit. Uh, I went on to a couple of Facebook groups that I'm in. They're, they're study groups for CCNA, CCMP. Uh, and we, we found, a, like, the top questions that people keep asking, right? And, and they range. They're mm. kind of all over the board, but they were definitely questions that kept coming up. You know, it wasn't just like mm. the one-off, you know, but these, these are questions that I kept seeing over and over again. So. Um, AJ, just say it's from R C C N A. From R C C N A, R slash networking, a couple of other yeah. subreddits, uh, gotcha. okay, a Facebook cool. group. Uh, actually, got nice. some from the Discord here as well, from uh, mm. the, the uh, A One Fans channel. I dropped uh, dropped some questions in there to see, to see if people could uh, throw some questions our way. So we got some good stuff. Uh oh. A couple of them might trigger Andy, but uh, we'll get through it. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> I can't. I'm not the oversensitive millennial. What are you talking oh, just about? Just wait bro? till we wait, get it- there. Yeah. Just wait. Boomer. <laughs> I'm not a boomer. I'm just hey, bro. bro. I like my Pepsi crystal clear. I'm still I'm still relevant. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, but Michael Jackson died. I drank Zima, oh damn it. God. Oh, Michael Jackson. Zima. Come on, bro. Billy Jean is the best Yo, baseline what, ever. What happened? Continue, AJ. All Zima. right. Oh, so without further ado, let's what? let's do this. Uh, All right. How All right. long to complete the CCNA? Uh, Wait, hold on. Is that the on... full question? How long to complete a the CCNA? People, a lot of people would just right. In, how and that, all right? Here's like, where how, I would how start. How long does it does it take to complete the CCNA? <laughs> so how long did it take no, it, us? It was, or how long just, do we think it should take? A lot of people ask, somebody. like, how long does it take to complete the CCNA? And uh, Dan, I, I think you hit it on the head. It depends, right? Like, it depends how how yeah, how long do you there. have uh, to commit to studying? Um, how technical are you have you ever done anything with computers at all like there there is no set like you know three months two months six months like it's there's yeah are, are you already yeah. working in networking right that helps definitely i was not i, w- I was not <laughs> and it do took you want me my years. answer absolutely yes why are you asking how long it takes to get something like it's a rotisserie chicken right like Yo, how long do you cook a rotisserie chicken? That's that's how you get a quantitative number. Like, 
it depends what temper you're cooking it at. Till it gets to 165. Yeah, yeah. It? no, it doesn't <laughs> really. It. Right? You just you gotta get to one. It's done yeah, when it's done. 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 Yeah. <laughs> like, like here's the deal. It'll take longer to cook that chicken in the mountains yeah. than at sea level. <laughs> it depends. Yeah, so if you're studying in the mountains. Good luck. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Uh, I hate that question. Yeah, I really do. It's, yeah. it's, that's triggering but it's, me. But it's one that it, you know, love it, like it or hate it. It's one that keeps coming up, and I, th- I think you I just kind of got to like. It's a fair. If it's, it's a fair. It's a question, question from right? someone. You put yourself in those people's no, 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 shoes. It's a question like, for someone who's who's. They don't know. Yeah, you're right. The, a question for someone who is like concerned, like, and they're at a decision point in their life. What do I do? Like, they're they're asking the. That's maybe the first problem. You're asking the internet for what you should do with your life, basically. Yeah, right? you're like, on Reddit just, asking just, for advice. Yeah, don't do that. Like when you say so. So <laughs> th- there's two schools of thought here because this is like uh, how you like uh, talk to a child, right? Like how do you want them to grow? Do you want them to learn on their own, or 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 do you just say uh, it's really easy so that they they think it's easy and then they just do it, right? Like part of me wants everybody to go in there and be like, dude, you could do that in two weeks. Cause like you could do it in two weeks. Like that's very, that's very possible. Yep. Right. Um, so yeah, results may vary obviously, but, uh, there's just so many different, so many different answers you're going to get. Like, like, and what's, and what's behind yeah, that question, it. right? Like it might be somebody like I'm, as you're talking, I'm thinking like, all right, this, this could be a young dude. His wife just got pregnant. He's Absolutely. in a crap job and he's got to get his crap together. He might be like, you know what I mean? I got six months till yep. this baby's here. Can I do? I mean, you know, maybe there's some of that. Like, if you're asking that question, you must be in yeah. some type or, of time crunch. I'm yeah, thinking. or like, or you just think that everything has a time associated with it, right? Or who was who was our guest that was working and they came to her and said, "Get your CCNA, or you're out of here." I, I forget. Was it? It was Dara. Dara. So somebody's yeah, somebody was. They were going to lay yeah. off some people. They came to her and said, "Everybody's got to yeah. get certain oh, up right. your yeah, that was So her. like, you know, yep. there's enough. There's another situation, you know, like I'm going to lose my job if I don't get it. Yeah. They told me by X. So. Yeah, that'll put some mm. pressure on you. you. Know, th- it's a fair question, but people like us, I can see. Yeah, just come on, it. It, well, it depends. But, like, but. I don't even like that it depends. Like, I mean, yeah, everything depends, you know, like, like how long are you going to live? Ah, it depends, <laughs> you know, like. Listen, we can't answer all these questions with it depends. I know. That's the you can't that goes do that, though. <laughs> this is going to be a horrible episode all right, all right. if we say it depends 10 times okay, and thanks rule, for stopping by. Rule. If it's <laughs> forcing you to quantify a number that you think is not non-existent, do it anyway, okay? Give me your best shot. I think your background de- it depends okay. on your background. If you, <laughs> you just said no, we no, couldn't well, say that. <laughs> no, but, okay, no so rule. I'm sorry. The, we'll, we'll edit. We'll edit. But we'll edit that out. I just broke the rule. You know, for a person that's got five years of production experience in a network, studying for that test is going to be a hell of a lot different than clueless cable guy Andy sitting in his truck, like, oh my god. Do you think I anybody that has this. five years so, of experience goes on Reddit and says how long to see a CNA? In that exact verbiage. I Internet's probably a don't weird world. See that. I don't. I don't think they yeah, do. I agree with Andy. It is a weird I world. I know. I know a guy. His name is John. I worked with him at the Comcast Hello, Knock. He's still there. He's still there. He still doesn't have a CCNA. This is a guy with 15 years production experience. Is he trying to go for a CCNA? I don't know. I don't think he wants it, and he doesn't need it, and they're not bothering him. But there was a time when I worked with them. They were like, "Dude, you need to get your CCNA." So wait, or we're gonna is have, he the like, one that asked that on Reddit? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I just but there's but you know besides dr there's another example of somebody at work and they're like you need to get your ccna and he's like i don't want to do that but you know how much of my time do I like somebody who doesn't want it who's being okay. made to do it I could, they might yeah. want to know how much of this st- of my life is going to i mean i get you it's an annoying question but, but at the same time with. we're here so, to answer okay it. so what's the number then two, two years. years okay that's what it took me i mean that, what other answer could i, I would give say six months you do have 15 certs <laughs> so that makes sense well, i just know <laughs> that like 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 <laughs> 50 years ago, we put like three people on the moon. Like I could figure out how to subnet. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, we haven't been there. I we know, haven't been there I, since. But I can subnet. You know what I mean? Like, like I'll figure it out. Right. You yeah, know, yeah. like, and the, of course we all do. Like in hindsight, we're like, it's, it wasn't that hard. Right. Like it was very surface level, but like, it, it's actually like the hardest in the way of like, you're learning a new way of thinking, you know, and like different technologies and like how things, but once you get it, like things only get easier from there anyway. If you're listening to this and you want to know how long to CCNA, I would say, uh, how long to CCNP from zero, right? Same deal. At AJ, at AJ's job, they get paid yeah. to study. They have study X hours. percent of their day that management mm-hmm. has said study. It's going to take AJ's folks probably faster than somebody like me who can barely breathe during <laughs> the work day. So I'm not going to say it depends. <laughs> All right, AJ, next question. I think you got All our right. answers. All right. 
Um, let's see here. Suggestions on a beginner networking home lab. Ooh. Even G. Uh, Packet tracer. Okay, beginner. Oh, are we talking about beginner? Beginner. beginner. Packet tracer. Packet tracer. It's free. Yeah, I'd agree with that. You just go sign up at netacad.com and you can free. register for that Packet Tracer 101 class and that'll give you access to download Packet Tracer. It, it has if its... You, I used it for my yeah, CSMA. Yeah, it it's got great. its shortcomings, but yep. it, if you have zero experience and you want to get started for free or, or minimal cost, that is the way to do it. And every version they come out with, it gets a little bit better and a little bit better and a little bit better. And in fact, now... You can run it on PC and it's supported on Mac and Linux. Mm-hmm. So it, you know, it used to be it was only supported on PC and you PC, could hack yep. it onto Linux or yep. Mac, but now it's just officially supported everywhere. That was I have a question. Does the new blueprint have virtualization mm-hmm. in it? To an extent, yeah. Then does it make more sense to get a cheap server and okay, get no, a no, no. and something? Well, like do you need to well, go to that well, extent well, or no? The easiest thing to do. <clears throat> Packet tracer. Yep. Now, if you if yeah, you yeah. got any like type of money whatsoever to spend, now we can start having a conversation as to where you should spend your money. Right. Because yeah, Different yeah, yeah. Because if the question is. is where should I spend my money to learn, uh, I'm sure we could go on for hours about that, right? Because there's yeah, packet tracer. Packet tracer. That packet tracer. Definitely. Easy entry installed. It's and, there, and who it knows? Works. It's free, right? So like, uh, the best thing about it being free is if you know, you're like a month into it and you're like, you know what? I absolutely hate this. It sucks. All right, cool. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. And there's no like crazy installation no. or anything like that. It's just an Super application. Easy. Yep. So they used to have a, speaking of, they used to have, to have a uh, iPhone app. Do they still have that? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I used it on my that? iPad a little bit. I, I definitely played on it one it time. It was awful. Yeah, but I don't know. But if... yeah. Yeah. It was pretty <laughs> rough. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know if uh, they still you know, have it. I was trying to enough. maximize my time. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm on the go. I'm on the subway on the way to work in the Big Apple. No, that's never been me. <laughs> All right. Next question. All right. <laughs> Doing power uh, tracers. Starting a study material. What's the, what's the best material to start with when you're studying for your CCNA? Well, I guess the OCG would probably be one because it's going to go. You know, by the by the uh, blueprint. Yeah, I there. I agree with that answer, but for a different reason. Um, because you get free practice quizzes. Yes. And you get end of the chapter quizzes, and then you also get the did I know this already? Yeah. Dicta. Dicta. Yeah. It, with those those have, three groups a, of questions. I have a different Ooh, answer. Andy. Well, so it's here. It's this Cisco Networking Academy. Oh. How much is that? That's that's it's three grand. Yeah. But. We have had guests on here that took it for free in high school. True. So depending on where you're at, it might be free. Well, three grand is a lot. But yeah, there's no limit. Yeah, there's no limit to the dollar amount. So yeah, like best bang for your buck, uh, though. Like how many books could you buy for three grand, right? Well, right. But I spent I spent eight hours a week with a CCMP instructor. I was in their lab there, which was a beast of a lab. It was Mm -hmm. real gear, and I was with fifteen peers, quote unquote, study group. Or mm-hmm. community. So, okay. You know, there's okay. advantages to it all if you right, can afford right, it right. or if it's free. But I don't so, know. That's my two cents. So OCG, OCG for sure. But Cisco Network Academy will So, so this is study material. Are we limiting it, limiting it to just books? Or or what else would we recommend? No. Well, like CBT nuggets. That's CBT yeah. nuggets yeah. and the OCG yeah. is Boson, what I would do. all that stuff, right? Yeah. Like, okay, let's say you had it. And, yeah, all right. Boson. Let's say, let's say that, like, is. you just won the lottery and you decided you're going to get a CCN. I don't know. You would do that. <laughs> <laughs> Invest in yourself. Yeah. You didn't win. Yeah. You didn't you win, win much head, money. It was a thousand dollars. It made sense. <laughs> yeah. and the way I was saying it, it just was like, wait, what? Uh, so yeah, uh, pretend that you uh, have a job so you can afford study materials, or like AJ's job, who pays for the study materials in some cases. Um, and he, and they said, all right, you know what? We'll reimburse you for everything. What are you gonna buy? What's the What's your like Iron Man lineup of study materials to where you have no freaking excuses? OCG, yep. CBT nuggets, yep. boson. boson, boson, and I think you need a lab and a physical lab. If we're talking about a and lab. a physical lab. Yeah. That, yes, right. That's they're the that's four. the wombo combo right yep. there. That's it. You have if you have that, the grand slam. You yeah. Is there anything CCMP that you grand. can supplement with that you don't have to pay for? Like what? Well, there's there's plenty, there's plenty of labs out there on on YouTube, right? Like there's plenty of videos of people showing you how to do stuff on labs. So if they're 
you're stuck, oh, yeah. you know, you can always like uh, white papers, white papers Cisco documentation. I mean, they're free. They're free. Extra free. You can read RFCs. I mean, you can get everything you need in the RFCs. I, I wouldn't recommend you know, starting with the RFCs YouTube. though. Blo no, no. Blogs. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's a little dry. <laughs> well, you were saying yeah. like a free version. Drier than Cisco Press? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cisco, yes. 100%. I know. I love me Cisco. No, but have you read the RFCs though? My gosh. I have. <sighs> yeah, they're, yeah. They're rough. Left to interpretation. But yeah, no, I wouldn't limit it to that. But hey, we know the Grand Slam is a, a video series. Like, let's just kneel down materials, right? Video series, book, uh, practice, lab, practice exams, of, practice, practice tests, exams. Yeah. Yep. Like, like the good thing about Boson is you can get the, the XM and the NetSim. Yep. So you can get the, the practice labs too. Yeah. The NetSim. I mean, yeah, that's, the, that's a good supplement for, for gear, right? Like, that's like you're working on the uh, gear. You know, I was thinking, it's weird you asked this question because I was thinking something roughly around this idea like two or three days ago. And I was thinking to myself, like, if I only had so much money, like, what would I get? Like a budget? So basically your question with a budget. And knowing what I know now and like not just about like the different products, but additionally, like how people learn in general, I would say that the one thing that I would go back in, in time and tell my, my past self to get would to be just the boson tests. Yeah. I see. I didn't do my, bo or uh, didn't use boson for my CCNA and I used it yep. for encore and that was the game changer. Yep. So uh, yeah, I, I, I've been using it. I did ICD two with it. Um, and then I got all three of the CCNP tests worth of stuff like the catalog and that's for both that's for the xm and the net sim so i have like the whole every i was gonna ask you that you got the net sim too i've never seen dude NetSim. the i have the whole trouble ticket topology so what was really cool is you remember like on t-shoot like it was just one topology it was shared it was all over the internet it was all good and so they just duplicated that and it was really rad so basically like they would just give you tickets and what i liked about it is they didn't name the tickets they just numbered them so I would just go in and there was like 20 tickets or something in there, which was about roughly equivalent to what the test was. And I'd, I'd just double click a random number. So I would have no idea what it was. And I would just go through my troubleshooting step, steps and I would knock out all 20 of them as fast as I could. And I was down to like a minute and a half. And that was XM, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah no, no, I, no, use, I used sim. XM for T-shoot. NetSim? Okay. Yeah. So I thought XM, XM was the testing the, engine. XM is the exam. It's exam. EX. So what is NetSim? It's the simulator. Like it's basically like their packet tracer. It's like routers and switches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, Have you guys used? Yeah, that's it? what I'm it talking good? about. It was like the T-shoot tickets ah. and all that stuff was in there. But even for ICNB, okay, because I used XM for T-shoot, which was really helpful. Yeah, super helpful. Yeah, I would say that was yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously because that one was the one you actually had to go in and actually do stuff for once on a test. So right. anyway, sorry, AJ. Hey, no worries. This is great conversation. So, um, <laughs> on to the next. I think this is going to be a good one. How uh -oh. do you study? when you don't feel like studying? Mm. Well, I, mm. I'm going to let Andy answer this one. <laughs> let's, let's hear Andy's take. Let's hear Andy's take. I don't have the Well, answer. maybe the answer is you don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, why? Why yeah. would you? I mean, there's a lot of truth in what people have said, like, and what uh, the, the guy that Knox quoted that we were digging around on Twitter. I mean, you know, if, if you want it as much as you want air, yeah. you'll do it. Yeah. And, you know, I, I guess... I can tell you that I don't want it as much as I want air. So I can, I, I could give a thousand excuses, but I mean, I could have not been on here tonight and spent my Thursday studying, which is what, you know, I talked about to him, but we're doing Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I, I want to do this podcast more than I want to study. Dude. So, dude yeah. Uh, I, I, you know. Is it weird that it's like when you don't want to study, like why is it that the opposite equals something else? Like it doesn't. So it's like, it's not that you don't want to study. It's clearly that you want to do something else, right? So like, instead of saying, I, I don't feel like studying, why don't you say, I feel like watching TV because that's what the reality is. I also don't feel like riding a unicycle down the street. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like if we're going to go into things I don't feel like doing, like the laundry list is like, it's, it's literally everything except for the one thing I want to be doing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like I've heard, I've heard people kick around ideas of how to like study when you don't Yeah, study. but, but, but why force yourself? Mind, You're not in the mindset. Like who cares? Like, just don't. Yeah. Well, so a writer will sit down every day and write. 
Jerry Seinfeld's been doing comedy for 50 years. He still writes every day because he's a writer. Mm -hmm. He might not want to some days. So, uh, you know, writers write every day. It's what they do. Uh, if, if I'm going after certs, I should study every day. I don't. Yeah, but I think there's... It's, it's a choice, right? There's, like, a, there's, there's definitely like, like, like physical brain science saying that like you should let that information soak and then try to retrieve it again you know and not study every day i think you got to get hung i think yeah. you got to get hungry i studied like my life depended on it when, when I your life depended my on it. Right, yeah exactly and my life like i'm not going to lose my job if i don't get my mp they're not going to fire me in six months if i don't learn automation or cloud yeah. i mean probably in a couple years but <laughs> you know the, the 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 pain is on the horizon and i you know I don't have to right now. Yeah. So I'm not. You're just delaying it. Right. No, I mean, I get you. Yeah. If I, dude, that, that, iron's not hot right now. Huh? I, I mean, I never had any reason to get anything. It never did. <laughs> it, like, all it did was like intrinsic stuff for me. You know what I mean? Like, I think everybody should go out there and get a, a CCNA or a CCMP or both because I know it'll do to you like inside, even if you don't need it for another reason, right? Like, you were doing it because your life depended on it. I had none of that. Like, it, Right. I mean, so why did you it, then? It, like, I was going to ask AJ the same reason. Why well, did you get your it, MP? It's an even better it? question to say, why did you keep doing it after you failed it? <laughs> you know, after after right. it knocks you down once and you had no reason to be doing it in the first place, it's like. But at that point, you're so into it and invested in it, you have to finish it, right? I mean, that's how I feel. You know, that. I just didn't want to be the dude that didn't have it. You know what I mean? Like, I felt yeah, like yeah, I knew yeah. what I was right, talking right. about, but like, I wanted to be able to prove that to people, you know, and, and, and myself, really. I don't know. Yeah, maybe yeah. AJ's story is a little different. I don't know. How do you do it, AJ? I mean, you're 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 very certed up as well. How do you study when you don't want to? It, it's uh, it's like tricking my mind, right? Like it, sometimes people think about studying like they have to commit hours and hours and hours to studying, and and for me, it was daunting to sit there and think about like I don't really want to do this tonight, but I you know probably should or have to, and uh, and so mm -hmm. it was just like okay, well, I'll lab for twenty minutes, you know, just just commit to like twenty right. minutes in my head. And then I start labbing and before I know it, like an hour or two has gone by because I like really got into something and, you know, it, it was just kind of like a trick. Yeah. And that works, right? And you I'm you just reminded me, I, I, I do this meditation app, 10% Happier, and this guy, Dan Harris, who created it, he, he came up with this like one minute counts. Just sit down and do it for a minute. If that's all you do, it counts. Cool. Go on about your day. Hmm. The Pomodoro technique with studying. Yeah. Give it 20 minutes. Yeah, that, that works. That's the nice. Pomodoro technique is. Commit to 20 minutes. I could study for 20 minutes every day if that was something i committed to i mean i can find 20 minutes why don't you just do it like like you said well right exactly i mean this might be my solution but to like to your point aj i have so much to learn that i'm just like it's too much oh, I'm not doing it yeah i see what you mean you know what you should do i gotta learn automation no. i gotta learn azure i gotta learn aws i need you know what you should do i need to learn juniper it's too much so I'm i know i know but 20 minutes i could definitely but you know live. you know why though it's because this is like this is a whole separate step in the process that uh probably most folks that are getting a CCNA are not doing. I'd just be willing to bet. And that's breaking down each piece and and just attacking those pieces. And I don't even I'm not talking about sections, right? Like it's okay to to learn people want to know what's on the test, you know? But it's okay to learn STP and MST, when they're not teaching you MST, you know, like, it's okay. Like, know that those exist, but the, those don't show up in the Lamley book, you know, and oftentimes they do periodically, like in, in like OCGs and stuff, they'll be like, they'll mention it and they'll say, you don't need to know this, but just so you know, this is out here. Um, but it's okay. Like dig into some white papers, you know, and then all of a sudden it's like, all of a sudden, you know, every LSA type for OSPF and then you go to take your CCNA and you're like, what kind of softball questions are these, right? Like, I just... I don't know. I, I, it's really just the way you, you know you approach it, and then that little section that you learned, uh, you just do it for that day, and then three days later, try to test yourself on it. You know, and then you're just like continuously playing this like little like leapfrog game where it's like you know you learn something, and then you learn something, and then you're studying the thing you just learned, right? And you just kind of keep going and just leapfrogs itself. So, whoever answer, whoever asked that question, I'm tomorrow going to use AJ's trick and study for twenty minutes. I can commit the 20 Dude, minutes. Dude, don't even commit and to five. That, Watch what happens. Well, Watch right. what happens. But if I do that three days a week, that's an hour that I'm not studying Dude, anyway. nailed it. So like 20 minutes It tomorrow, does. I think it does snowball answer. though. Like AJ was saying, like all of a sudden it's been like yeah. two hours, but it even, even so for like days on end, like you mentioned Seinfeld. I remember his thing was like, he was always writing it on a calendar 
and he didn't want to break the chain. Like that's, he's like famous for saying that. Okay. So like I studied yeah, today. Yeah. Right. And then he didn't want to see a blank spot. It would give him so much anxiety. So like, and it was writing from him. It was writing a joke. So he, he would write every day cause he didn't want to see the chain break. So, and it makes you feel like you have control over your destiny. 100%. It's almost like losing weight. It like does. if you're overweight and you feel like crap, if you do the work every day, a little bit at a time and drop 10 pounds, you feel great. You're in control. Like, okay, I'm not a slave to this, you know, ice cream. Yep. Same with like studying. If I study 20 minutes a day, I'll feel so much better than I've been feeling about, you know, and smarter. Journey. Yeah. Do I'm, you guys, I'm doing, do you guys, action. do you guys jump topics though? Yes. Like my problem is I'm very bad about, I got to start at the beginning and go all the way to the end. And when I hit a section that is either very boring to me or something like that, that's where I start dreading continuing because it, I don't know. It's something in my brain that it's just like I can't. I can't skip over it. Dan, I stopped reading the Encore OCG when I got the Spanish. <laughs> just like chapter two. It, it, I got the chapter. I read a chapter. I know it's chapter four. I read a chapter a week for four weeks, <laughs> and I got the STP, and I said I'm out. Yeah, that's how much I loathe STP. Uh, he went from listening. So he yes, went from Dan, listening to, to discarding <laughs> real quick. <laughs> no way. Yeah, I, was, I was. Yeah. No now learning. He's, yeah, from doing? learning to discarding. Are you, sa- are you doing salad now? In salad? My, my, br- my brain is error disabled, bro. <laughs> <laughs> shut, no shut. Andy. You're going to... Oh. Yeah, late. Yeah. Well, you got to turn it off. No, I, I jump around, but I jump around on purpose just to keep it fresh. There's a... You guys should read yeah. Make It Stick. It's a really good book, but... So you don't think the books are written in order? I don't care. That, that, who made that order up? It's just there. It, the people who wrote right, it. I know. If you read a novel out of order, it's not going to make. Yeah, any but it's sense. not a novel. I understand, but don't you think they're writing it? Encore, for example, you don't think the order matters no. for the CCNA? No, no. I, probably doesn't. No, and, and it doesn't matter if I learn Spanning Tree before Ether Channel. No. Right? Like, yeah, but I feel like in the CCNA book, that's kind of each chapter started building off the previous chapter, did it not? No, I mean, where they uh, choose to, to an extent, I where think. they choose to tell you about layer two stuff and in layer three stuff. I mean, shouldn't in theory then let's like like let's just make sure that we all understand every type of cable and cabling type out there, and then we'll go into every sort of data layer, data link layer thing that we can we can possibly come up with, like MAC addresses and Delsies and all this other stuff, um, and then we'll we'll see how switches communicate with each other with BPDUs and things like that, right? And then finally, when we hit CCIE, we'll talk about routing protocols. Because we finally made it. We'll get to BGP last because it's, you know, kind of like a layer four-ish routing protocol. Well, so I is guess writing the, a book different than making a video? Absolutely. Like I'm think right, I'm thinking you're like install EVNG on your server video. You can't install that before you inst- check it before that. Raid. Order is important. Order is important, Absolutely. but maybe not in technical manuals. Maybe it's well, when, well, okay. So the well, whole cert, I look at though, it like you're not saying yeah. yeah, yeah. It, okay, so you just they're all individual topics, right? Like. Like right. th- they're not really a sum of their uh, each other's parts. Like yeah. you could you could get away with learning. That's why they're specialties, right? You can get away with learning very niche stuff. Yeah, but I'm looking at it from somebody who you know, because there's a lot of people that get the CCNA that have never done anything with networking, and you can't just open it up and go straight into the routing, right? Like I feel like you got to start I, off. With I the- w- I went in order because that was my background, and I knew nothing, and the material was written and taught in order. Yeah, as if someone didn't know anything. But to Aaron's point. It, you could, if you had a little experience, you could probably jump around. It doesn't matter if you learned spanning tree before either yeah. channel or route before switch. It's all well, it, it might depend it, on the learner, dude, too. Like, Aaron, let's, you, Aaron, you know more about learning, yeah. Than so, do, let's like, put it this way it's not that yeah. it's not that you wouldn't be able to, or that uh, one makes more sense than the other, uh, because e- either way works, right? Um, it's almost like which one would be less of a resistance on you as, as a person, right? Like, oh, this makes more sense because I learned about that. But that's not to say that someone could just drop OSPF in your lap and say, figure this out. You could. You would have no idea how to plug anything into anything, like physically, right? But you would you would understand. Like someone could go and learn that. You know what I mean? So Yeah, I see, I see what you're saying, yeah. So what was the question you asked, AJ? Because I think we went down a rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah, we definitely did. I think we, I think we beat that to death and then came up with a new question. Yes, answer. He- uh, I, thought, I thought he asked us what we had for dinner and we just kind of started talking. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're asking questions? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. That was a good one. All right. It's time to time to trigger Andy. Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Here we go. 
I'm, I'm good, man. I just I know that you brought it up triggered. several times, like you know, throughout this uh, podcast, and uh, I feel like it's a sensitive I, wait, subject. Can I guess what it is? Yes. What have I brought up? <laughs> Do you need a physical lab? <laughs> yeah, labbing, physical or virtual? Is that is that the question? I think I starting mean, out know. physical. Yeah, you don't need a physical lab. You don't need a virtual packet lab. tracer. Packet tracer, GNS. I mean, I only built. I'm so adamant about a physical lab because yeah, of what it did. I, I'm right there with you. But yeah. look, it, yeah, but it's not going to hurt, right? Like, like uh, it's not going to hurt, but it does cost money and yada, yada, yada. So I, I, I get all that. But a physical lab for me, in my experience, see, I built a physical lab because I was working in an ISP knock and all the people with like 20, 30, 40 years Told experience I was sitting with said, dude, you need a physical lab. They all had physical labs. They told me why. And that's what I did. Jeremy Char said, build a physical lab. Keith Barker said, build. Everybody was saying build a physical lab. So I did because I didn't know anything and I'm glad I did. Um, you will learn more on a physical lab. People love to poo poo it and say, what do I got to know about cables no, and pinouts right. and ports? And no, you're there's right. nothing to you're it. You're right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I got blog posts. Yeah, I got blog posts on it listing the 18 things that I learned on a physical read, that I would never read learn. Read the question again, AJ. It, it's just labbing physical versus, or yeah, physical versus virtual. virtual. I would say both because yeah. that's what I it do. It just now. says physical I versus don't think you virtual. Have I don't yeah, know why I, you would I, use I would both. say both. I, use I, both. I mean, for, for me, and especially now, because you can connect, you, you can have a virtual lab talking to a physical lab. You know, when I, when I do my Ansible what? demo, I have a virtual 100%. CSR, CSR 1000 that neighbors up yep. ER, EIGRP with my physical routers. And it's great. Yep. The, qu- the question is flawed because it starts an argument. It's inherently inflammatory. Right. right. This or that. <laughs> when they're both. When you need, when you, you know, when I, you need neither in reality. And I never, and I never say, you know, physical only, virtual is poop. I use both. Yeah. But when I try to say, hey, physicals are great because of X, Y, Z. This is what I learned. That's when people jump down my throat and like, dude, you're an idiot. You, you know, physicals are garbage. What year is this? Like, how old are you? Like, dude. So, so I, <laughs> I physical labs it's are. It's like they knew or something. <laughs> oh yeah, like you know, I'm, a, I'm an old guy because I got a physical lab. Every. You know, CCIE that teaches this stuff says yeah. build a physical lab. Like, yeah. I didn't if, if make you, it up. If you're well, starting out and you only have so much money, right, then, then I would say go physical lab. And then once you get your CCNA, once you get a, a bigger job, more money, then you can invest you in the virtual, virtual lab. Because you can build a physical lab for less than 100 bucks. If you don't have 100 bucks, plus you, you, you can you find the places OCD that are like, like retiring gear. Like I, I got like three or four mm-hmm. routers and switches like completely free because I was talking to the right people that were getting rid of some gear. Totally. Totally. Yeah. yeah. And, and one thing to add to that too is like if you're starting out and let's say you go all virtual and you get to a job interview and they ask you, have you ever done this on a real device or anything like that? You're, you're gonna have to say no. Well, what Whereas if they if ask you, you on the, physical- what if they ask you on the job? Have you ever used uh uh DNS three? Because that's what we do here to test out our new stuff. What if, and both. what if they ask you that? You should know both. See what I mean, though? So, like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Are you, you're you're 100% always going to have a gap where you've never done something. That's absolutely true. But what yeah. I would say to the question is physical versus virtual is neither. You don't need either. It, I can promise you this, that you could get a CCIE without a lab. I promise you. No question. Uh... Is it easier to do it with a lab? Sure. It's already not easy. Okay. <laughs> The guys who practice for the eight-hour lab, yeah. lab for eight hours of at course. a time to build up of muscle course. memory. I mean, you need a lab. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? A guy who I knew took the CCIE said he used to do it in a notepad. So you don't need a lab, actually. You could just do commands in a yeah. notepad, really. Because yeah, yeah. that's what, you, that's what you they all do anyway. They just they copy-paste the configs because they're all duplicates. Like, it's not a typing exercise. Do you, want, do, you, do you want an airline pilot who's new, who's never been in a sim? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> do, do you want, do you want, what did Jeremy Char say? Do you want a surgeon who watched a bunch of videos and never performed a surgery? No. Build a lab. Get experience. Yeah. You know what I right. mean? Just what freaking do, do it. Right, right. Just but, get a lab. You can, get, you can build a lab for 75 bucks. Well, two crappy and what routers. I'm, two and crappy what I'm saying is in. that you could go into a medical doctor test without ever cutting open a cadaver. That's what I'm saying. No, you can't. Absolutely can. could. That's not how medical school Absolutely works. Absolutely could. No. <laughs> you cannot <laughs> has anybody done it before you... i'm sure i'm sure they have <laughs> all right so the answer is th- neither some answers <laughs> <laughs> i think both 
Yeah. Packet Tracer is free. GNS is three. If you're in an interview and you haven't touched GNS, you have not prepared and you should not be there. So Dang. if somebody asked that question Aaron said and you've never touched GNS, you should be ashamed of yourself. If you haven't touched physical because you can't afford it, that's a different story. But if you haven't fired up a free program... Like if it's a hundred bucks, like we out. all know, if they if the person Andy, only has a hundred bucks, shaming people. Like, huh? It's free. <laughs> right, it's free. If you only had a hundred dollars, <laughs> like I think clearly the way to go is the OCG. It's gonna give you a book. It's gonna give you all the practice tests. It's gonna give you all, all the flashcards, all that stuff. But but we're talking about labs. If you only had a hundred, right? But if you had, but if you had a hundred bucks <laughs> I think for the, a lab, I would buy EVNG Pro. Whoop whoop. Well, what's your answer, AJ? Whoop, whoop. You're just. I, I think there's like think? a. There's definitely a use case for both. Uh, I would start with physical and then add virtual after that. Because the, yeah. it, no matter what platform you look at, whether it's CML, GNS, and even EVNG, a lot of those platforms have a very hard time duplicating what the Cisco ASICs can do in their switching platforms. And you can get really close. You can do everything. But you're not going to get as close to working with a Cisco switch as you know actually working with a Cisco switch. Yeah. Everything you can do in a physical lab, you can do in GNS. The converse is not yeah. true. You cannot well, create a switching. You cannot create a switching loop in GNS. But I, you need two switches. It's also harder to have, you know, twenty routers. Yeah, yeah. There's there's definitely routers, some economies of scale in, that you'll see virtual, with virtualization. So like I, I could drop two hundred sure. bucks. On I do agree gear, with your the limitations. I'm only going to get so many yeah, routers, right. but if I drop two hundred bucks on, you know a decent server and get GNS three or even G or something like that. I can have a lot more routers in my topology, but I still agree. I think, I think everybody should have a physical lab at some point. And then if they decide they want to go virtual, I, you know, but just because you're going virtual doesn't mean you need to ditch the physical. It's, it shouldn't, it should be this or that. It should be. Yeah. I I think it's, I think it's a money decision, right? If you have money for physical, you get physical. If you don't, you go free GNS and you're done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's pretty easy. Yeah. All right. All right. Next question. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I got some triggers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, uh, they poo poo on my lab. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What if you're running? What if you're running your virtual lab on your physical lab? Because that's what I do. Uh, running your virtual lab on your physical lab, like on your server. Yeah. Even? Well, I, I think we're talking about physical routers. All virtual labs run on a physical. Yeah, there's a... Every, every, everything needs a physical underlay, Aaron. What's going on there? <laughs> Did you have a stroke? Next question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> All right. Uh, how do you defeat self-doubt? I think we're, I think we're touching imposter syndrome. You don't. Uh, you don't. God. You don't. Yeah. You don't. Stop telling yourself that you can. You don't. A lot of, a lot of therapy. Yeah. Right. How much time you got? A lot of uncomfortable couches. <laughs> no, you, you don't. The, just use it. Yeah, yeah. I think right? you, re, you reframe. You no, know, it's not going anywhere. Just you, use you reframe it. it. Yeah, just yeah, use yeah. it. So, uh, imposter syndrome will get the best of anybody. And and when you stop worrying about people are gonna, you know, figure out you're not who you say you are, or you're feeling uncomfortable because you're diving into a new subject, um, think about it as it's growth. It's about growth. You're you're exploring something new. Get excited about that. And just change your frame of mind around it. I mean, doubting something you don't know or you've never done before is just like an evolutionary behavior. Totally. Like it's it's something that's helping your survivability. So like if you think it's going away, you you don't want it to. Self like people without self doubt are like the people that walk around the streets and don't mind getting in fist fights with just anybody like on a random occasion for no reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they're just like, I don't care. I know. If you don't want to like be that. like that. You. You you want self doubt for you want a you want a healthy amount of self doubt right? It's going to prevent you from doing something stupid, but to, it shouldn't be crippling you, right? I mean, there's an element of like mental health here that you know if you if you do have cr- a crippling amount of that, I would suggest seeking a professional for sure. Like, there's no shame in that. AJ, absolutely. You said reframing, so I I got an answer. So, um, I'll relate it to like my personal life. So. I've been told by a number of people I'm a great dad. My wife, my, you know, people I don't even know, like, wow, you're such a great dad. Like, but 50% of the time I doubt myself and I'm not sure if I'm a great dad, right? I don't know where it comes from, but what I've learned, and you said reframe, that's actually cognitive behavioral therapy trick you do is it's based on a core belief, something you think about, like Aaron said, like instinctive stuff. But if you take 
if you're doubting yourself, you want to reframe it. And the way I've been taught to reframe it is you look for proof. So, okay, I believe I'm not a good dad sometimes. Am I not a good dad? And then you look for proof on, well, mm. am I a good dad or not? Is there any proof mm. that, so if you're doubting that wow. imposter, so imposter syndrome for, I mean, this is like just straight up therapy stuff. Right, right. Like I didn't make it up. But no, but it's if smart. If you're doubting yourself that you don't belong and imposter syndrome and all that stuff, look for proof. My VP did it when I talked to him not too long ago. And I'm like, I don't know if I belong here. You guys are geniuses. I'm clueless. He gave me a new job. I don't know how to do it. And he's like, dude, I handpicked you. I, I want you here. I know who you are. You, your reputation preceded you. You belong here. But I had self-doubt and I needed that. Look, look I needed proof. to see proof. He, yeah. he showed me all the proof of, he's like, I talked to a half a dozen people before I brought you over to my team. And each one of them said that, that, that about you. And that's what I want out of, you know, my guys. Why so. is it we need so much like the, uh, that's crazy. You said that like, why is it we need so much, like so many chips stacked in one direction to be like, I'm great at this, right? Like you have to have this and this and this, this to feel, to feel great about something. But like you could have absolutely it's no good. proof and be like, I suck. It, you know what I mean? I like it's, it's, it's the I extreme. It's I, I think a lot of it has well, to it do is with all, you, but the, you're in a vacuum. You're not getting the feedback loop. And especially when you're studying by yourself, mm. there's nobody there to tell you you're doing a good job. You know, right. there's, there's nobody to, to confirm yeah. for you. Like you understand what you're talking about. That's what the Ditkas so, are for. Does anybody on this panel not have that? Like, I could even go deeper and say, like, is it my parents' fault? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so it's all, but it's all, it's all the voice in our heads, 100%. right? Like, we all have a voice talking to us in our yep. heads. I haven't met them yet, but I imagine there's people out there that have a nice, you know, reaffirming yeah, I'm good. That, voice in I their am. head. Right. So I don't know that why. must be wonderful. I I, he yeah. has no doubt. He's good. His parents did something No, it's right. not that at all. Know. It's not, it, I, I don't. I just don't have an, um, an amount of self-doubt to speak of, you know, like, like yeah. to, to, to like even throw out there, you know, like, like you've never felt like an imposter in your career. Never, never. Okay, okay. Uh, actually quite the, well, quite the to... opposite, which is probably a problem too. <laughs> <laughs> actually, that's probably more of a problem than, but seriously, like I, and, and well, I, how can you be, com how can you be confident if you don't have enough skill to be confident in something? Like when you started as a sales no engineer, idea. You weren't the best sales no, engineer. No, I was not. I'm, I'm still not. And but I and you were never like, oh man, like I don't know how I'm going to do this. This looks hard. No, no. I uh, I just did it. I, I don't know, dude. You just yeah, yeah. Uh, no. It's awesome. Like it, you, you might have the secret. Well, the nine times out of ten, like AJ just, just said it right. Kind of. It's like like a moth to a light, right? You you just or to a candle. It's like, hey, it, that thing looks uncomfortable. Let me just drift over there and see what I can get into. Because every time I've I've been in like a oh my god moment like uh oh what's gonna happen now you know life gets ripped out from underneath you and you're like now what like for some reason I i've always just been like i mean this is what it is right like yeah. like what are you gonna do right are you, you have two choices of how you're gonna think of stuff which is what you just said right you just told us that like you can either think that you're really good at it or really bad i mean like i guess you could think you're neutral at something but i, I don't really know how that's possible like i'm just neutral at everything well, there's another, there's another trick. You can only have one thought at a time. It's like science has proven it. Right. So you can either decide to think positively that's or what negatively. I'm saying. That's and what if, I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. If, if you're full of doubt or you're full of imposter syndrome, you're just having negative thoughts. You're, you're also... There's another hack. Like replace that with a positive It's like thought. you with the dad thing. Change your state how, of mind. How, you know, how, you don't do like, like daily check-ins with your kids and your wife. Like, like, what did I do today to make sure I was a good dad? You know what I mean? Like you don't do that because it's ridiculous. Um... But j just as much as, like, let's say no one ever said that you were a good dad. Same time, no one's ever told you that you were a bad dad. You've never heard that. Um, so w what are you going to think then? Why would you assume? Right. right what, what, why would you assume that? Yeah. Like you, like, you, like you just said, you have a choice. Just, just pick the other one. Like, it's really simple to just, I, I, I'm making it sound simple because it is. You could just choose to say, just say it out loud. Like, there's something to, like, self-affirmations, too. Like, I always heard of guys, uh, like, in the morning, like, Stories of guys that had roommates that, like, their roommate was some crazy badass entrepreneur, dude. And he'd be like, I could hear him every morning in the shower. And he's like, I am a badass. I am rich. I am, like, he wasn't rich, right? But he was just saying it. Yeah. And, like, you know, he just started to believe it after a while. So, who knows? Say it out loud. Make yourself hear it. Speak, speak it into speak existence. Speak it into existence. Thing, right? Pretty soon you're yeah, going to be yeah. lying to yourself so much that it's going to happen. You're going to be like, whoa, <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Cause you could, the other the other well, alternative is you lie to yourself 
the opposite direction and then you end up, you know, God forbid, like sleeping under a bridge or something, you know? Have you ever heard this one? What you think you become? Mm -hmm. Because it's true. It's just like you just, it's straight up. Just like you, we were talking about the, the, you know, being a surgeon or whatever. And you know, like not, not, you could get a CCIE without ever having to lab. Right. Basically my point is like, literally everything's possible same thing with they, they put a freaking dude who's walking on the moon like what is the point of that like but here we are doing it right and they did it like we barely had color tv <laughs> like they had no right doing that <laughs> right and here we are 60 years later like you know how much, how much has happened in the past six years like it would be it's unfathomable to keep up with all that crap like there's so much stuff like there's stuff out there that you're so, good at anyway whether you think you're not or not so what does Dan and Aaron do with self-doubt or imposter syndrome? Because Aaron doesn't have it. I, I have a couple of tricks. Do you guys ever have self-doubt or imposter syndrome? Yeah, so for me, um, I mean, just being completely open and honest here. So I started in IT back when I was around 22 or so. And I'm 30 now. <clears throat> and when I first got out of college, um, I was real heavy on the studying for the CCNA. And I kept putting this test up on a pedestal and I was like I'm never going to get it because there's all these other people out there that are so much smarter than me that it and I didn't have this community either so I think if you are struggling with this like I did um, I think getting a community is very helpful because you, you can find people like you guys for me who push me you know nonstop every week um to get out of your comfort zone, to, to take that exam off the pedestal. Cause at the end of the day, it's just an exam, right? Mm-hmm. But, uh, I mean, it, it crushed me for years cause I was just kind of doing the job. I wasn't really trying to learn or go for the search anymore. Cause I felt, I felt like an imposter at even where I worked at, you know, mm. and especially like if I went to uh, any like seminars and, or anything like that, uh, Cisco, uh, what are they called? Connect or whatever, stuff like that. You're around these other brilliant people and it's like what am i doing here <laughs> but uh do you ever think that they think the same about you you know it, it's crossed my mind a few times but like they don't, don't know, know you just, just like you don't know them right exactly yeah so it's safe but to it, assume it, that if you're gonna if you're gonna judge someone just judge them to be stupid <laughs> right like <laughs> yeah maybe that's what i do andy <laughs> You just assume everybody's yeah. dumb. Just assume he's Not the smartest being one smart. I just assume everybody's... Until proven otherwise. So what, Dan, Dan, well, let me ask you this. Yeah. If there was a... T- so like putting the CCNA on... The, actually, I'll ask everybody this. Putting the CCNA on the pedestal made me think of something. If there was a test past the CCIE, CCIE is still what it is today. If there was one past the CCIE, do you think that we would think of it like we do? Nothing changes like, uh, about the CCIE whatsoever, but the, now there's a test past that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I see what I think you're it would saying. Change our perception. Um, I don't know. I, I think there is. Isn't there a test? It's not a test. CCI? It's, well, it's like a board. There's a whole oh, bunch of stuff to it. Just got to oh, pay okay. a bunch of money. And, and it's <laughs> like the list. Is, so it's, right. it's the it's the the Cisco Architect Arc. Arch exam. Yeah, and oh, okay. it has That's a ridiculous a entry fee to even be considered yeah. to apply. And if you don't get approved, you don't get your money back. Okay, so that it's, makes no it's sense. like you can't even but put I, that on the pedestal because it's not even. Yeah, nobody knows what yeah. that is. So, but you get my point. Aaron, to your point, if they made yeah, if they made one higher than right, the CCIE, right. then the CCIE would be more attainable. Even even if it, men- mentally, nothing like changed about the CCIE big. blueprint, the hardness of it whatsoever, yeah. the perception of it, right? Yeah, It'd probably be. Oh, it's not the hardest. Isn't one. that weird? Yeah. So imagine this now, yeah. in you're in dance position, and like the CCNA is the only test that exists, right? Because there's a lot of stuff out there that's like that. There's like one test for it, right? And then there you are, you have it. Um, I mean, if it was just one test, would it make it even like more instrument? Like how f- how many less people would have it? Or if CCMP was the top? I, I love the answer of the community because I didn't have one either, Dan, when I was starting. And now what I have like with you guys and with the Discord community and like Twitter and all that good stuff. Like, yeah, like I really wish this would have been around when I was getting my CCMP. You know what I mean? Like it was man. kind of. People are pulling for you. They pump you up. I know. Like Eugene hit me up this morning like, hey man, what's going on? Let's get it. Like that really fills me up yeah. with like some juice yeah, that I that. didn't have, you know? Yeah, but hearing yeah. other people and 
in hearing that they're struggling with this, I didn't hear that. And so I thought I was alone mm. in that sense. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know, like, right. why, why is this so difficult for me or whatever? And, uh, and then you meet this community and everybody's like, Oh yeah. Imposter syndrome. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. You, you, you figure like do, everybody uh, but Aaron has it right. Except for oh, well, no, yeah. <laughs> I, I want to be clear. Like I, I, it's, I don't think that, you know, my, you know, what doesn't stink, but like, I, I know that I could choose either or and so i make the decision like consciously like i get nervous when i go to tests you know because i fail them half the time anyway (laughs) so like why wouldn't i be nervous that would be stupid it would be so stupid for me not to be nervous given the amount of times that i failed it (laughs) like who do you think you are dude but that's the other thing too it's like there's there's an element of that too like like with aj and you and myself especially like like i wonder how many failures we have just like across the board like for us to just keep you know, getting hit like that and to keep coming back, like that is how you eliminate self doubt, right? Just freaking do it. Like (laughs) don't take no for an answer, man. So AJ, you said reframing. I mean, is that what you do when you, how do you do that? If you feel like self doubt or when when it comes to imposter syndrome, I I try to reframe it. It, Like I don't always pull it off. Um, I'm working on a project right now and I'm, I'm trying to learn NSO and I, and so it, I'm having a, a, a difficulty with NSO in that I, I'm doing training and I'm following the documentation and it still doesn't work. And, hmm. and I don't even and know yeah, what it is. What's uh, NSO? NSO is network services orchestration. So it was an application Cisco mm-hmm. picked up a few yeah. years ago called tail F and it's focused at orchestration of large service provider focused networks. But now everybody's doing automation so it can be literally any network. Um, gotcha. And so I have to learn it for this project I'm working on. Um, it's it's good stuff. It's just, it, you know, now after beating my head against the desk for the last week or two, it like come to find out like the installer is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's not declaring variables in the operating system uh, to allow mm-hmm. me to finish the install process. And that's not my fault. That's not a hurdle of me not understanding it. It's just the software is not working as designed. Um, and, and so... Mm-hmm. It, you know, I, I'm I'm sitting over here like beating myself up because I'm working on a team of, of three guys. And every time we meet every week, uh, those two guys come to the table and like, oh, well, here's what I finished this week. And here's my nice shiny thing that I, I completed what I set out to do. And it's just like, yeah, I'm still stuck. <laughs> <laughs> so so how do you how do you reframe that? Uh, I, it's, that that's what I'm saying. Like, I haven't been able to reframe that. You know, like I understand I'm trying mm-hmm. to learn, but I like. I've literally just been beating my, my head against the desk. And, and finally me and another guy, we like, we looked at it because they've had success. Um, and, and, you know, so we start digging into what's going on in my environment and these things, these variables aren't being declared during the installation and I'm not doing anything hmm. differently than, than these guys are doing. And the only thing, the only difference that we can see at this point is that the version of software that I have is a couple of revs newer than the version that those guys are using. I hope this isn't you asking us for help because we're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, no, no. Uh, I, I didn't even know the you guys. Yeah, me this. neither. I, I'm glad you asked because I was like, huh? I was just going to let it go. I was like, ah. Well, AJ, the real deal reframe would be that look at all the proof of everything you have learned up to this point and all right. the search you Progress, have. Yeah. And you, you can learn new things. This has given you a hard time and you will learn this just like you learned everything else of all your other certs. I mean, that to me, that right. would be a reframe. I'm like, all right, I, I can do this. I've done it before. Right. This is just exactly. different, yeah. you know, to get you out of that doubt. Or- exactly. So the next question is, how do you know when you're ready? You're studying for all this time. Ready. How do you know when you're ready to take the yeah. exam? I never know when I'm ready. I, I would agree with, with that. I don't know. For me, it was when I started passing the practice, uh, practice exam over... I'm trying to think because I took the the CBT nuggets. I think is it Kaplan that they have uh, the I Kaplan think so. yeah. tests or prep uh, exams or whatever. Yeah, it's one of those. S- something like that. Um, so I, you so have I was to pass taking the, the, You have to pass the practice test. Yeah, that I, I was passing the practice test with like I can't remember. It was like over 850 or something like that, or 800, or and and they said you'd be ready if you're doing that. And I was so I went and took it and. That and I got a 919 on Damn. my ICND one. Nice. So yeah, that, yeah, dog. So the question, can you read the question again? I want to make sure that I know exactly. How what it do says. you know when you're ready? It turns green. To sit, for, 
to sit for an exam. It, turn, it turns that, green. It turns green. What turns green? That's how you know it's ready. Oh. That's how you know you're ripe. You know what I mean? Dan, I have not had the same experience that you've had because when I was studying for my CCNA, I would take practice exams same. and I would pass and pass and pass. And then I'd go sit the real exam and I'd fail. I hate this question. There's no answer to this question. There's a- my my t my t shoot exam. I was taking. I used Boson for the first time on my love uh, life. Loved it. Love it. Will continue to use it. But I was passing the Boson t shoot exams, practice exam, hmm. and I failed t shoot three times. So the barometer is supposed to be when you're passing those. You're those ready. are hard hmm. for sure. I'm just you know I'm just yeah I got I got you. I never know when I'm ready, and even when I'm sitting, I don't know until I hit that damn button at the end. Like there's times I felt like I nailed it and didn't. Yeah. And there's times I felt like I fell on my face and I passed. So I can Dude, never I'm get right there with you. That's the problem. It's like the, Jedi the number of times no I've gone to an yeah, exam and got to the end. I'm like, yeah, I passed this. And then I hit next and it's like, sorry. Well, what did Carl say? I thought Carl had a good, like with the, with the test from home, like he doesn't schedule ahead of time. He doesn't stress it. He just, he gets the feel like he'll get a feeling. Maybe it's just a feeling like, you know yeah. what? I, I think I can go That's, take this. I thing. like that. Like the, I don't think yeah. like remember when we were talking about you putting uh videos on YouTube and stuff and like even like your website and it was like well I'm I'm kind of a perfectionist I kind of want things to be look good when I get out there and it's yeah, like yeah, right. ah, t- best foot forward like that's what it's about right, right? like cart before the horse you know you don't want to get out of order is actually the same question yeah. it's like all right do you read the book in order you know it's like things have a process but it's analysis paralysis you'll never exactly, sit for that exactly. exam you'll never you'll never publish your website and, and the, the, it's the, never uh, perfect i think that was my biggest problem andy is that i i didn't feel like i was ready so i wouldn't take it and then and then i waited too long on the uh the icnd2 and then the new one came out and mm. then so now my icnd ones you know doo 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 yeah it's not, it's <laughs> not that doo-doo. bad <laughs> or, or poo poo sorry you're poo-poo. saying poo poo right <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, so, I think it's an it's, it's got to be an internal kind of feeling. I don't think like there's an answer nobody personally. Can tell you I, no, well, no. I, I just I, I don't think like because uh, like you just said, you could think you're ready, and then you could also think you are not and do well. But the the answer is this: it, I could tell you when you're ready, when you think you're ready, and when you are ready are two completely different things. When you're ready to go sit for the test and legitimately pass, like you could pass by guessing. Everyone knows that. You could actually guess on every single question and pass. That is statistically possible, okay? But that doesn't mean you learn anything, right? So to make it easier on yourself, the best way to do it is to take every subject and teach it back to either someone else or yourself mm. because that's how you will know that you know the stuff. Right. It's then when you are ready. Right. It's not, do I think I'm ready? Am I not ready? It doesn't matter what you think. You either are or you're not, Right. You either know the stuff or what you do they don't. say? Like if you can explain it to a whatever like a five year old, old yeah, you know, yeah. Is that uh, it which is? I, yeah. you know, I agree to an extent. Like technical, st- I, I mean, it's technical not, stuff's right. a little technical bit different, right? A yeah. Different. yeah. So yeah. basically, like, like, like what AJ does. Like, if you could teach a high school class or you could teach a college class, like even the most basic fundamentals of this stuff. Like, think subnetting. Like, how hard was subnetting? It was so hard, and like I, I could not get it. I almost gave up so many times. I just, just did not make any sense people talking about yeah. cutting pies into pieces and all this other crap. I'm like, what? And like, none of it made any sense to me. Like, it, it, there was only, w- like, a few words that would have made sense to me that somebody could have just said in, like, a, a half a sentence, and I would have got it right away. But that's the thing. It, it's like, all of that hard, like, work that I did to finally get it, and we all did the same thing, right? And Once you finally get it, like, use that opportunity to then go back and reframe it and make it make sense to you, because... It's going to be easier on you in certain ways, or it's going to be harder. It'll all get in there eventually. There's just easier paths and harder paths. And oddly enough, the easiest path, the most efficient path, is the hardest path. Because if it's easy, you aren't doing it. Right. Stop highlighting. Right. Mm. <laughs> I, don't, I don't highlight anymore. <laughs> Throw those highlighters away. Aaron, Aaron embarrassed me away from highlighting. I don't do it anymore. All right. I think we're gonna do the True. last question that we've got time yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, with a good one here. I'm excited. The to grand hear, finale. I'm excited to hear from Aaron on this one. So let's let's oh talk. Don't trigger me now. Study strategies. <laughs> you just brought up throw away the highlighter. So what what are some study strategies? Uh, there's only one. Let's let's hear it. Uh, well, l- let's just say that the, there's two steps, but only one like learning process. The first step is organizing yourself. So 
kind of alluded to it earlier with Andy and how he was, and the question about like bouncing around, same with Dan, like, do you go through this? Do you do this? Do you this? Whatever. No, there needs to be a strategy, right? So if you have a certain amount of things to learn, which you do, and it's great because Cisco, if we're talking about them specifically, actually every real certification for any IT related thing has a blueprint, right? The, the, the subjects are all there. You could do just a simple thing as Googling those, those subjects, right? My point here is that you have to have an attack plan, okay? So then the next question is, what is the attack plan? <laughs> Keep in mind that none of this is learning. All of this is planning, right? So if you don't plan up front and you just start diving in, like, yeah, you're going to get lost in the sauce because you, you never had a direction. You never had a signpost. So if you don't, if you don't lay this out ahead of time, you, you're setting yourself up. So if you, if you want to, you could do this on a time-based schedule, which I don't necessarily recommend, but it, you could totally do it. I do recommend doing something often. However, I don't recommend like saying that you have to have something done by Friday unless, unless you're that type of person. So if you're that type of person, then put it to a schedule, right? Take each chunk and, and it could be as easy as this. Like there's, you know, four categories, let's say within each category, there's three subtopic topics. Each subtopic has uh, three topics attached to it. So I would take that subtopic. It's got three little things in it. Like, let's say like we always beat up, like let's say it's uh um, STP, RSTP, and PVST. Those are the three little sub subtalk. It must know, have working knowledge of all three of these, right? I'm going to take those three. They're all kind of similar. And I'm spending the week learning everything I can about those things. And then I'm going to test myself. Okay. And then where the learning actually is, so is, is in the guts of this, right? So that's all just a planning stage. So when, what am I going to do? And when am I going to do it? And how will I know when I'm completed with that? We've, we've answered all of that in this podcast, right? How do I know where I'm going? Easy. Get a, get a signpost, right? How do I use my time more efficiently? That, that's part of like scheduling and, and actually getting stuff done. And then the next part is actually getting to the meat of it and learning it. So like, what does the process of learning look like? And it's as simple as you have to test yourself as much as you can. So I see flashcards all the time for, for stuff that you have to remember, like, uh, like Brittany, she brought up, right? Like, what are the, the stages of spanning tree? And all of us were like, ah, you know, uh, you know, we pieced it together eventually, but like, um, it's stuff like that, that you typically put on a flashcard, right? Like I got to remember all of these. So how am I going to do it? Maybe you make like a mnemonic out of it or, you know, an acronym or whatever it is. But what you should be doing is taking those subtopics that you had. And in my example, it was uh, MST, RSTP, and let's say tr traditional Spanish, just STP, right? All right. The things you should do to learn all three of those together. First of all, find some tests that have those questions in them. A great place to find those, end of the chapter quizzes or the Ditkas. Both of those things exist in an OCG for every chapter. Okay. So find those chapters, do all of those tests. And yes, you, you heard it right. Do those tests before you read the subject. There's science behind this. You're more likely to learn something if you test yourself on something you have no idea about, and then you go and try to learn what you just tested yourself on. So there's, there's evidence saying that that is going to help you, right? Is it because you, you know what you're like, once you read it, you're like, oh, that's what that question was. Is yeah, that, you're like, that wait, that makes sense because the way they asked it and da, da, da. However that, that connection happens, I, I'm, I'm unclear about that. So I... I I can't really speak to so that. So test yourself and then read the chapter. Test yourself at the Ditkas and the, the if, if your eyes are yep. glossing over, like just take a second and read the question. Like there's things in there. It's okay. So let's, I'll just make up an, an example question on the spot. Okay. Uh, what are the, uh, or which one of these OSPF LSA types is a uh, router advertisement, let's say, right? And it gives you one, three, five, seven. Okay, and I have no idea what the heck OSP, OSPF is, right? Um, so I look at those and I go, okay, well, there's clearly a 1, a 3, and a 5, and a 7, maybe. I don't know. Looks like they, they at least numbered them, right? Okay, what is an LSA? I don't know what that is. Um, what is OSPF? I don't know what that is. Uh, so then, now I'm going into the OSPF section. Okay, I've gotten past that part. OSPF, I, I get that. I, I get what it's called. I get what the acronym is. Oh, Link state advertisement. That's what that is. Okay, so clearly there's a bunch of these. Why is there a bunch of these? Right? Like, and it's okay to go back to those questions and be like, aha, 
And even if you took those questions and that's how you learned, like let's say you just went question by question and then just Googled the answer and found it and then went to a rabbit hole, like, wait, then why? So then why couldn't it be this, right? Because just important as to why it's something is why it couldn't be something else. And another piece of advice, every bit of the technology that we deal with is like, is a result of an efficiency or something breaking. You know what I mean? So it's basically, you could just think in your head for everything that you learn, like, why does this exist? What problem did it solve? And it's, we're engineers. So that helps us, you know, in the, like put pieces together. So when you're going through these subjects and you're reading all these things, you should be making flashcards for yourself. The flashcards should be very difficult. And I cannot stress that enough. Um, maybe sometime I'll give you an example of a flashcard that I've made for myself. It, because it's something like, define lisp. You know, it doesn't say like, you know, what's a router ID, <laughs> you know, or, you know, what's, what's an IP or what, what, what could an IP address that Lisp used look like or something? You know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm, I'm paying very close attention here because I need this. So just to crystallize what you're saying, planning, which is basically the blueprint yep. as an example, yep. then test yourself, make it difficult, yep. end a chapter, tests into dickas. And then do you read again? Like, do you... You test, read, test, then you're going to test at the end with like XM. Or I something just keep like that. testing, like, and the flashcards okay. are a test, right? The yeah. harder my flashcards are, the better it is. Um, you're looking at your flashcards every day, maybe. Yeah, and that's so easy to do because if you use something like Anki, especially yeah, when you say, yeah. when you start Anki. to learn them, they 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 use the same methods I'm talking about. I have to sign in, so that probably won't happen. But you, I know so yeah, so you have to so. Anki's cool because it's spray. So it's A N K I. There's an app. There's a web uh, desktop mm -hmm. version as well that you could type into. It's super easy. This is what I, I think it's free, right? What's that? And it's free. Yeah. It's yeah, free. and so, you can actually type in on your desktop what you want, and then load the deck into your yep. uh, your app. So. It's stu it's study wherever. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like it'll sync. So is it? Do, do you use something like that for digital, or do you write out physical flash? No, I don't care about paper? writing. Yeah, just it, I just it doesn't matter. No. Yeah, so there's nothing to be said about writing it. No, that there is, but, but, in your but, brain but and, right. Okay. But here's here here's why that's a, a tricky statement. It, is writing something more likely to make you remember it than typing it out? Absolutely. But I'm not using typing or writing to remember anything. I'm okay. using a flashcard to remember it. it. I just want yeah. it. I, gotcha. And quite honestly, Andy, nine times out of ten, yeah. I copy paste from a white paper and just shove it into the note card. As yeah. much okay. crap as I could possibly come up with, stick in there, like. Like when you, t okay, so I'll give you an example of, of a card that I had like um, in, for CCNP route. Why would I use OSPF over EIGRP? No idea. <laughs> right. But there's a reason, there's reasons why I would. And the reasons why I would. Well, EIGRP is Cisco proprietary maybe. Okay. So if you okay. Want so, so, okay. One, so is that, is that, is that, is that a question that they would ask you on an exam? No. no, I mean, but to be fair. So like, yeah, so, so. So which one of these would you use if the environment was, you know, like mixed vendor and they're trying to trick you, right? Uh, you know what I mean? Like they do stuff like that. But, uh, but uh, I know that because in my cards are, are, are things like that. And if I learn something, hmm. I add it to the card, right? To, to eventually you get to the point where you're like basically giving yourself a lesson about everything. And then when you see questions, like I'll do this, I'll go back into Boson and I'm reading the question and holding my hand over all of the answers. I don't want to know what the answers they're giving me are. I'm, I need to spout the answer off. Let's see if you can pull it out of your exactly. head. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and I don't give up. I, the longer I'm thinking what's nice about the flashcards too, if you're going to waste five minutes of your life, maybe flipping through Instagram, yep. look through your yes. flashcards My instead. biggest life hack on the planet. Yes. You have a choice, especially right. like, let's say right. you're sitting there at doctor's office. So much wasted time on nonsense. Just, just like, nonsense. Just when, a if you move that to your home page, like the front page, right? It's right there. You could do whatever, like anytime you had the urge to do that, remember we we're talking about decision points, you just pull that up. It takes two seconds. I do it because it's on my right. desktop. First thing in the morning before I even open my email client for work, I do the, I do the car. I, I, I don't even remember doing them now because I do them so automatically. And this is, and this is Anki? You're yeah, yeah. Anki? I use the desktop version and the, and the flip version and they sync to each other. So cool. I have mm -hmm. like 
I don't have that many cards, right? Like, I don't have a full deck. Also, I would never get someone else's deck. That's pointless. Like, people are always like, yo, let me get that deck. Or it's like, or let me get some of the questions. Like, for CCNA, I had like a stack. I yeah. mean, I don't know how many. I mean, it was huge. But, but it was and always, that's all I did during the day. It was, it's always like, it's always like the stuff that you have to learn. Like, you know, like, what's the multicast address for a, uh, a BDR, right? Like, okay, like I need a card for that. Cause it's like one number yeah. and you got to remember the number. You know what I mean? Like that, that's all like just like trivia type stuff, but there's a reason why that exists, right? Like, so it's better to so read, reading repetition is key, I guess. Right. That's what flashcards are. No, You're just reading stuff. No, 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 over no, no, no. Over so th that's why no. someone would pick up a book and reread it. Right. It'd be the same mm -hmm. thing. That's actually the easiest thing you can do. And the worst thing you can do rereading something. So how's a flashcard different? Cause you're trying to pull up the answer before you look. The, the, you have to use a flashcard correctly. You have, yeah. I don't care if it takes you 10 minutes to think of the answer. And like, you're just like, don't look, do not you look the answer your own. Your own like it, just think about this. The longer it takes you to answer, don't you turn it away. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> it's so easy to, and you're like, Oh, I knew that. No, you didn't. Cause you would have said that. Stop right. tricking yourself. It's Wait, the, it's the struggle. I guess it's trying the to struggle up, because right? the struggle yeah creates a, a stronger bond right it creates that memory and it's like it's like a firmer thing like so so the longer is it, is it same like as building. like you know we all uh you learn from your mistakes kind of thing like uh, uh like sort when of. i when, when well, you something mess hurts, something up yes. is when you when you like when you fail like <laughs> you, you know that's when but you, you don't though the, the thing is you learn when something like traumatic happens whether that's like huh. but that's like an instinctive thing and that could be good or bad like you want the yeah. reward just as much as you don't want to get punished for something you know what i mean so so your brain so, will so, always trick you that so do you read the flashcard and if you get it wrong you like punch yourself in the face or something and no then... you get somebody else to punch you that would be oh, stupid because okay. you're not gonna be that hard <laughs> but on yourself but like Aaron, it's a new, you're building it's a new neural pathways right? you're, like, you're building roads you're building you're building, building you're building roads in your brain neural pathways and you're not going to do it by reading the answers over and over again you got to try to pull that's it the biggest that's the biggest thing is like because it's so time consuming and eventually and again this is kind of like what i was saying with the ccie you could get it without without doing a lab right is it hard as hell yeah like would anybody ever do that in the right mind no and there's all these tools for them right like why why hinder yourself but what i mean is like the harder you make something for you the more rewards you're going to get and aj and i have talked about this before it's it's just your brain is a muscle it's and it's literally just like going to the gym why would just think why would you go to the gym and lift one pound weights for three hours straight? Nothing is gonna happen, right? But you know what happens though? You go home and you tell everybody, you know, oh yeah, bro, I I spend like three hours a day at the gym. So, you know, I'm at the gym all day every day, and they look at me and they're like, You are at the gym all day every day. I'm like, Yeah, I'm in the gym. I, what, I'm not doing anything. Well, I am though. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm actually lifting weights. So you can't say either of those things. Now, I'm pretty sure we can all say that, Aaron, that's not a very effective use of your time. And I would say, it's easy. yeah, it's way right. too easy. So wouldn't yeah. you rather spend 10 minutes maxing something and then just bounce out of the gym, you know, as an extreme example? And then guess what? That did more for you than lifting a one pound weight for three hours straight, right? So the point is that whether you have a lot of time or you don't, everyone is going to say that they don't have enough time. It's just, mm. that's just how we work. All right. Um, but we're all lying. <laughs> we can wake up an hour. When, do, when are you, when are you going to create this content and release it? On I feel like I'm YouTube just doing it organically like, through all this. If you tune into enough yeah, yeah. art of network engineering episodes, <laughs> I mean, I, I get, I get <laughs> a lot out of this though. So, yeah. You, no, you keep, just you keep, try it. You keep but the coming. thing is that like, everybody's made looking a lot of for sense a, to me though. The, it, the, you know, don't, don't go notes, to the gym. Dude. I wrote that everything you said. Don't go to the gym for one pound for three hours. You know, that that makes sense. So yeah, it's yeah. a muscle. I, try that I a mean, bit it, more. it quite because my, my is problem muscle. is it's like if if you got a, a deck of two hundred flashcards, it's like my gosh, I got to go through all these. But, but what you're kind of saying is like, hey, maybe focus this week on just OSPF flashcards and and breaking that down. Like one day, go through all your LSAs and and what what are each one or something. But don't worry about That's all the rest question. of them, kind of thing. Is that should is they it, be grouped by topic or should it be random? Does it so, matter? So here's what's interesting about should that. Should all your STP be you know back to back? Yeah, there there's science that says that you should be interleaving. So that they say the two strongest way, two strongest ways to form the skill or the memory are 
to uh, interleave. Practice, they call it interleaving, which means mixing subjects around. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the dedicated practice, which is like, or they call it a purposeful practice or um, basically like testing yourself, right? The interleaving is important because uh, I think one of the studies they did, it was, this is an example, like um, they had a bunch of like five-year-old kids and they gave kids uh, like a ball and a, and they had like a trash can and the challenge was going to be that they gave these kids like as many times as they wanted to practice throwing the ball in there at four feet away. So th the test, the end test was going to be throwing the ball in at four feet. So they, they got a controlled group of kids and they all threw from four feet and practice and practice and practice for what, what was that? They also got kids and had them throw from one foot, six foot, three foot, eight foot, all over the place. The kids that did that scored significantly higher than the kids that just practiced at four feet. Hmm. The ones that interleave. Significantly yeah. higher. Like yeah. enough well, now, to talk about. I will about. say uh, the Inky or however you pronounce it, I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, the, the flashcard thing, it, it has that built into it, right? Like It, it absolutely will, does, which is why it, it's such a great if program. You, if you answer really well on a question, or really quick, I guess you want to say on a question, because it also has a, it has a, like a, a truth thing at the end, like, hey, did how quick did you answer this question? Good, or it's did you good, get it yeah. right? Or, it's, it's good, and so if great, you, if or, if or you, not so great, right? So yeah, like, exactly. The time and varies. so if you answer that honestly, I think it's like if you answer really well, it'll say it won't bring that question back up for like the next three Days it's space something. repetition. Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah. So space repetition, there's there's a, f a forgetting curve, uh, and it's, it varies, but they show it a significant drop off of, of like I think it's like three to five days or something. Like, hope nobody quotes me on that. I don't really remember what it was exactly, but if you catch something while it's kind of falling off, that's when you really get it, right? Like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's like it's like you were about to forget it. Like your brain was like almost like RAM versus hard drive, right? You, your brain just kept it cached and never decided to move it to the hard drive. But you were like, wait a minute, that needs to go save as, right? And if you catch it as it's going, like that, that's the spot. <laughs> but the reason why you're, why you're testing yourself is, is that same thing, right? The, the, the flashcards are that. They're, they're you testing yourself. The more you. Last question on flashcards. You only put things on you don't know, right? If I know something, there's no reason to put it on my flashcard. Uh, that depends. Like, yeah, you don't want to okay. toss yourself a softball, but make something you right. know hard on yourself. So the, mm. the, 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 this is why this is so difficult, right? But it's the same reason why it's so efficient. Is because It's so difficult because it doesn't make sense. Like, why would I make this so freaking hard on myself? But that's what you need to be doing, right? You need to put yourself through hell for this to make sense. Like, all right, don't kill yourself. <laughs> but let, but you're making it hard because that's how you're going to develop the memories and that, you're going to be able to recall that's how you, That's how test, we learn, right? right? That's why. And, and everybody says this too. Lift the weights. Think, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, okay, so check this out. And I'll give you another example because people, it drives me nuts when people say this. Like, well, I learn like this. That's not true at all. <laughs> We're all humans. Stop thinking you're so special. You're not. We're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> we all have brains. They, they all operate in, uh, literally the exact same way, like almost to a T. There are some people that were born gifted. There's a very small percentage of people. We're all, we're all essentially the same. You may have a preferred learning style, but oddly enough, when someone says, I, pref I learn this way, or this is how I learn, what they're saying to you is, I prefer to learn this way. And what they're really saying to you is, this is what's the easiest for me. And what that really means is that I don't get out this as much as I should. So... If, if you hate sitting in a classroom, let me tell you something. There's a reason why you hate that. It's because you, it's not easy. Hard. It's hard. St raise your hand and ask a question. Like, don't tell me you don't like sitting in a classroom because there's a guy there or a girl there to help you. That person is there to help. They get paid to help you. That's a, such a valuable resource. Now, if you're reading a white paper and it doesn't make sense to you, then yeah. Uh, like, what are you going to do about that, right? Like, go find a video, I guess. It's, it's just super, super easy. But like, oh, I can't read because of this. I prefer to watch videos. I'm sure you do because you just click play and you sit there, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, it, you Easy. know what I prefer to do, which is why I said earlier, like if I only had a hundred bucks, I'm buying a boson test. I might, I might redact that to say like, I'll just get the OCG because it has a bunch of test questions with it, which we know now, but, and that's enough to get me by. But yeah, I can come up with a, whatever gaps I don't get. Like if I find a subject that I really suck at, I'll give myself a bazillion questions on that. 
like every little nuance and I'll make it so general when I ask the question. So I won't know what basically what I'm asking myself, like what sort of details should I give here? You know, like if, if the card says like describe OSPF, like where do you start? Like, but, but the thing is, if you have to answer it, you will. And if yeah. the point is to get out as much information as possible, you will. You'll start spouting off LSA types. You'll be like, oh, but you, uh, if you were running into this issue, you would have to use this. But that's an extension of that, and they've already solved for that. And always make sure that you summarize here because this could happen, right? Also, remember to add this if you were going to uh, leak that route to another protocol or whatever. You know, so it's like it's just trying to get yourself out of a comfort zone, I guess is the best way to put it. I guess we'll slash and rant there since that took like 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good that was Great a fantastic point, answer yeah all right well i think we've uh we've gone long enough on this hopefully we've answered your questions whether you had them whether or not. you had them or not right <laughs> right yeah. all right and uh we'll catch you next time later see you Hey everyone, this is AJ. If you like what you heard today, then make sure you subscribe to our podcast and your favorite podcatcher. Smash that bell icon to get notified of all of our future episodes. Also, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We are at Art of Net Eng. That's Art of N E T E N G. You can also find us on the web at artofnetworkengineering.com, where we post all of our show notes. You can read blog articles from the co hosts and guests and also a lot more news and info from the networking world. Thanks for listening.